Implementing an ERP application like Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central doesn't have to be a chore. Here are the steps we follow to ensure that your implementation goes smoothly. Discovery and analysis. Detailed project plan. Process re-engineering. Configuration. Software development. Data migration. Training. Pilot testing. User acceptance testing or UAT. Go live. Post go live support. First we begin with discovery and analysis. From the responses to questionnaires and interviews with subject matter experts, SMEs, we will develop a comprehensive list of requirements, analyze their fit with the ERP system, identify any gaps in functionality, and deliver a findings document including a recommended course of action. Next is the detailed project plan. In conjunction with the findings document, we will deliver a detailed project plan with milestones and subtasks, start and due dates, and responsible parties. We will revise our cost and timing estimates to match this plan. Then we move on to business process re-engineering. In situations where fit is not optimal between your business processes and the ERP system's functionality, re-engineering some of these processes may be required. In such cases, we will develop process documentation with as is and to be specifications of the relevant business processes. Then comes configuration. Where identified in the findings document and detailed project plan, we will tailor the ERP system to align its functionality to match your business processes. This may include changes to data entry, display forms, and related reports. If needed, next is software development. In situations where systems configuration is not sufficient, custom software development may be required. We will work with you to design, deliver, and provide training for the needed software. The next step is data migration. Your existing systems contain valuable financial and operational data. We will work with your SMEs to identify which data to load to the new ERP system and which to keep in a historical archive. Migration of GL accounts, two years of historical account balances, customers, vendors, OpenAR, and OpenAP is common. Then we move on to training. Your personnel will require training in the use of the ERP application. This includes forms, reports, and transaction processing, relevant to each functional area of your organization. In the course of training, your SMEs will develop high-level process documentation in order to train members of their respective teams. We then move on to pilot testing. In conjunction with training, we will conduct a series of conference room pilots. In these sessions, key functions of the ERP application will be tested and compared to the organization's business processes. As needed, the business processes or the functionality of the ERP system will be adjusted to improve the utility of the application. Then there's user acceptance testing, or UAT. We will develop a comprehensive sequence of tests in a test script to verify that all of your business processes are satisfactorily supported by the ERP system. Once completed, you will attest in writing that the ERP solution is ready for use in production. Then we go live. We will work together to develop and execute a go-live plan which will include all the tasks required for you to make actual use of the ERP system. A coordinated effort of your functional teams will be required to transition the ERP solution from test to production. And finally, there's post-go-live support. For a period of time after going live on the ERP application, we will work together closely to address any issues that arise. Process and training documentation will be revised as issues are resolved. Okay, that pretty well covers our implementation process. As a summary, here are the major steps we described for an ERP systems implementation, including Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. To learn more about how we can make your implementation successful, please visit ssgnet.com or call 310-539-4645.